Over the past few years, the AUC rugby team has experienced some tough times. Back in 2016, a player passed away on the field, which caused the team to be banned from campus. Then, just last year, during an international basketball game, another student lost their life. As a result, the AUC had removed both frisbee and rugby teams from campus to avoid legal issues. These incidents are now affecting how many students are getting involved this year. ابتدينا ان احنا نقنعهم ان احنا نرجع كفريق تاتش رجبي وهو ده اللي حصل دلوقتي يعني ان هي الجامعه مرجعانا ولسه بنفتح تراي اوتس ان احنا كفريق تاتش رجبي بس طبعا يعني بن مش عايز اقول بنضطهد بس احنا ما بناخدش حقنا زي اي فريق تاني في الجامعه يعني انا كفريق رجبي انا ما عنديش اي استابيليتي يعني ممكن يبقى يوم بلعب في الجامعه اليوم اللي بعديه بلعب بره ويعني يوم تبقى الجامعه بتصرف عليا اليوم اللي بعديه انا بصرف كل حاجه من جيبي في التراي اوتس بتاعت النهارده اي اكسبكتد ناس اكتر تيجي بس ما فيش ناس كتير جت خالص عشان البوست لسه نازل من يومين وما كانش في يعني اللينك المفروض يساين اب فيه ما كانش كلير للناس كلها وكده. My expectations were ان احنا هيكون في ترن اب ريتك كتير ولكن احنا جينا ما لقيناش كده خالص انا شايف ان المشكله دي كانت ان احنا الافرت اللي كان محطوط في الفريق او ان الفريق ده يبتدي كان فيري مينيمال البوست اللي اتحط علشان التراي اوتس اتحط من يومين Uh, we were not included في الستانت اللي اتعملت في بتاعت اي سي اتلتكس في البلازا uh, كل حاجه كانت متاخره فاي فيل ان الجامعه كانت ممكن تحط افت اكتر من كده بكتير في ان احنا في, في الفريق عامه وان ده كان هيخلي في تيرنر بريت اعلى ذير فور كنا هنبتدي بدري بالفريق I sat down with Mr. Sharif Al Aryan head of the athletics department at AUC to discuss the university's recent actions towards the team so the tryouts we had two weeks Okay, two days. Uh, one uh, was this week, one was last week for the tryouts. We announced it on uh, AUC Connect, we announced it on our athletic department uh, media, and we even involved the SU and told them, please help us in announcing on your also social media uh, platform uh, so that it reaches everyone. Because I cannot control how many people are interested to come and uh, do the tryouts. An AUC community post recently went viral, expressing frustration over rugby tryout fees. The team was injured. The people who were playing in the team were injured and they were doing different things. They called it Rugby Wolves. So we didn't have any relationship with them. As a team, they were the same entity and we were the same entity. We were playing for the team. So the reason why they were charging the money is that they were not going to pay for the team. We investigated it. And we found out that uh, no, there's an outside group, a lot of alumni in it, and they are doing a, a, a team outside with practices and, and they are collecting money to be able to rent fields and go play and all of that. So this has nothing to do with AIDS. So where this connection happened, so this is why when we announced, we tried to make it as clear as possible mm -hmm. that no, we have nothing to do with this and our tryouts are free of charge. We don't usually write free of charge For the trials, it's automatically free of charge. Okay, but on this one, we, we mentioned it so that people know that our tryouts, there's no no one's going to take money or anything. And if you're good enough, you're going to be in the team. As the hupo, a symbol of good fortune and prosperity, could its presence single a shift in the way rugby gains attention on campus? Noor Amin, AUC TV.